this sort of animal. As the trust has grown, it has changed its character. In the early days, it was a, a small, cosy, almost family-type organization. It's now grown into quite a substantial organization with 10,000 members or more. And it's had to develop different policies and a different way of working because of that. Uh, it's lost a lot of the coziness, but it has increased its impact. We work very closely with research establishments, and now the Trust is almost accepted as a natural industrial partner whenever livestock research is being carried out. We are developing similar contacts with the commercial livestock world, so that as commercial farmers understand that intensive agriculture maybe isn't so attractive after all, they're looking at the traditional breeds and non-intensive systems. We have a very powerful impact these days in the political world. As far as one can influence politics, I think the Trust does do it. And we work both with uh, Whitehall and with Brussels to try and influence policy. And on a wider front, the Trust had a very important impact in starting Rare Breeds International, which is the global authority for rare breeds. And, and it has now become quite a positive global organization which works closely with FAO in support of rare breeds around the world. So that the Trust, from a very small beginning in the early 1970s, now has a very powerful impact in various different activities that affect livestock.